Alright, hello, how's everybody doing? It's Tony Black again, and this is another update video. Today is Saturday, September 23rd, 2023. Uh, it is uh, 10.42am. Alright, uh, I wanted to give y'all an update. I finished. <laughs> I finished earlier around, uh, say around like 9.50, 9.50 a.m. Uh, Saturday, uh, this, today, Saturday, September 23rd, 2023, I finished, so, next thing is, I'm on, this is the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures, so, um, so, yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, 1,536 pages, and I plan on reading all of them. And I kind of did the math. Um, I did the math. It, it should take me about uh, nine days to finish it. Reading it, reading about eight hours a day, uh, eight hours a day, right? So, so it should take me. It, it should take me about that long. Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of it. Uh, to to be blunt. I really don't feel like I learned anything from reading this, but um, I think like when it comes to Jesus, especially even in when it came to me reading the dictionary earlier this year, uh, it's I think like when it comes to retaining these words and stuff and uh, learning these words, um, that's that's not exactly what's happening. Uh, I'm not exactly sure but uh of actually what's happening outside of the fact that uh it's like Sean is above me and I'm small and it's basically just like reading the information and not learning the information or retaining any of the inf any of the words at all so that's that's really all I can explain it's going to be the same thing with the holy these holy scriptures um but it was it was different when I was reading the Quran and when I was reading the uh, the the King James version of the Bible, um, I was actually retaining stuff and understanding a lot of different things, um, especially with the Bible. Uh, yeah, it was it was a lot of different things I was understanding. I was taking notes on it as well, and uh, and it came out to be pretty good. I haven't I haven't explained any of my notes just yet. I'm going to wait until I have a little bit more time. Right now, I'm just trying to get all the reading done, and then I'll, uh, then I'll, uh, make videos on the notes that I, that I came up with, um, when it came, when it comes to reading the Bible, uh, uh, to, to be honest, uh, when it comes to just looking at me and looking at myself, or when it comes to other looking, when it comes to looking on the outside in from other people's perspective, when it comes to me and the person that I am, a lot of people you don't know me, and uh, and it's not that you can't know me, but it's that people usually like assume things. So when it comes to me, uh, I do have schizophrenia. So like when it comes to reading the Bible and and reading the Quran and coming up with an interpretation of it. I truly understand that I've been blessed by Jesus Christ, the all holy, all blessed, all blessing Jesus Christ. So I I definitely understand that the term all holy is something that everybody needs to know when it comes to pertaining to Jesus Christ, as people do not know it just yet. So um so when it comes to the fact that I know that it's real and I know that it's true and I know that there's nothing above the term all holy as that has to be Jesus Christ, as we know Jesus Christ to be almighty and we draw strength from the almighty to be mighty. Uh, when it comes to looking at me from your perspective as a person, as you don't know me, as you can only assume that I do, as you can, as then you know that I have schizophrenia. Uh, when it comes to that, uh, what I can say is that you would assume that 
um, my interpretation of the Bible or my perspective of anything that I read or anything that I am ever to ever be able to comprehend from the all holy, all comprehending Christ Jesus. Um, when it comes to that, y'all would think that I'm off and you would think that I'm again schizophrenic, you'd think that I'm crazy. So, like, when it comes to that, all I can kind of say is that you really can't get past the term out holy. And it's just kind of like, it's, it's when it comes to me playing, when it comes to fighting games, and uh, I know this is kind of off topic, but it's not. When it comes to understanding fighting games, it's, it's a term that yipes this guy in in the fighting game community. He he kind of dubbed, and it's, it's called, like, Scoops Hagen dies, right? And it, it comes from, like, the it comes from like the ice cream Hagen dots, right? Uh when it comes to getting scooped, it's just kinda like you you really just kinda got beat. Um so like that's that's then how I feel when it comes to people opposing me and people believing anything is wrong with the term with with giving Jesus the term all holy. So it's like if you don't believe that Jesus Christ is all holy, then I I definitely I definitely would feel that you're foolish, uh, to be honest, to be dead honest with you. So, so therefore, when it also comes to when it comes to the fact that Jesus Christ is the all holy, all daughter and all son, I I can't go against it because it just it definitely makes sense uh, to understand that that women that the whole idea of male genitals come from Jesus and the whole idea of female genitals come from Jesus. So therefore, in my personal opinion, it obviously makes sense to say that Jesus Christ is both male and female as being the all holy, all daughter and all son. Uh, so, so when it comes to that, if you don't believe it, then it's really like scoops because you lost um, when it comes to understanding faith. Um, so therefore, like, that's, that's definitely what I mean. Maybe I don't need to use the word scoops, hagen dies or scoops, period. But it, it definitely helped, it helped me understand life, to understand life as a game in, sen- in, in a sense. And we'll get some more of that later. But <laughs> I can't go against the term all holy just as anyone else shouldn't. Um, because it's like when it comes to Jesus Christ saying, be holy for there, because I am holy, it's just like saying, be mighty for I am almighty. Now, how does that make sense? Right? So it makes sense to say, be holy as I am all holy, right? As that, as then what Jesus Christ would say, right? Um, so therefore that, that then makes sense to me. So then when it comes to understanding that, that that is basically changed within the bible um there are a lot of things that are that are going to be different within the bible but it's still going to run off the basis that jesus christ is god to you so it really doesn't matter um it's it's the same with all these terms like all courageous all holy almighty uh all learning all teaching it's these same terms. Uh, it just means that Jesus is above you and you draw strength from. Uh, as a human, you can't become almighty in any kind of sense. It doesn't make sense, period. Um, it's, it's never going to make sense. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how devout you are in Christ. You'll never be almighty right uh cuz you then are drawing strength from the almighty cuz if you if you draw you can't draw strength from yourself and you can't you can't uh you can't be on the same level as Christ as Christ has to be above you to be god right so is is and then even with the term all god it just means that you you become a god from god in a sense so it's it's really it my my reasoning and my logic is definitely top tier and uh and it's definitely realistic and it's definitely able to be understood as it's very simple but i'll make videos about it in order to help people truly understand what's happening um because 
uh, you will see how the way the Bible is set up when it comes to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, it seems a whole lot less than understanding Jesus Christ, the All Holy, All Daughter, and All Son, and the All Holy, All Word, All Blood, and All Spirit. So, like, that's, and then All Mother and All Father, right? So, it's just kind of like, I, it's really just kind of like you can believe what you want, but this is really what I'm going to believe. And I'm going to take it as far as I can possibly take it, especially understanding that Big Sean believed that he was Jesus Christ because his penis um, was bigger than white men's and white men have the most authority in this world. So as we can see what happened with Big Black Cock and pornography, white women cannot get off of it because they want that size penis and other men do not have that size penis. So it's, it's wrong that all black men kind of came into the image of Sean when it comes to the, well, I just need a big dick. When it comes to the fact that, um, when it comes to the fact that, uh, women act the way they act in sex from men with size penises of such size. So is it, I, when it comes to the fact that the world doesn't know this, I, and when it comes to me trying to explain myself to other people, it's really that simple. It doesn't make it, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that only black men have that size penis and and other other people or other ethnicities of men don't have that size penis is absolutely incorrect, especially when everybody there has to be the right size. So then it's wrong for women to only be able to take that size when there are men of smaller sizes. So therefore, understanding Jesus Christ is him and him alone being the father and the son it basically basically what we're looking at is the fact that the strength of male the male gender is always stronger than female the female gender and I know as it says in the bible that it talks about uh women being the weaker vessel but but when it comes to the fact that women women uh get pregnant and have children it is life being taken from their life uh when it comes to them gestating and uh when it comes to that and gestating when it comes to gestating it it seems as if it has to do something with Christ to me and uh and it and it would seem as if uh it would seem as if Jesus Christ then gestated in order for women to do the same uh, because in my personal opinion, it seems in order for humans to do something, in my personal opinion, Jesus Christ had to have done it first. So, um, so that's that's then how I'm thinking, and then especially if we are meant to follow Jesus Christ, so Jesus Christ had to do it in order for humans to do it. So therefore, that's that's my logic and that's my sense, that's my sanity, and that's how I feel. So, um. So it's just kind of like if you don't believe it, I really don't understand what you're going to do with your life after understanding that this is really true. Um, so uh, that's really all I can understand. That's really all I really want to talk about because it's, it it kind of like when it comes to the devil being upon me, uh, when it comes to me um, explaining all this stuff, it really does get irritating because it, it, I understand that this is the devil within people and people would want to prove it wrong. And you can't prove the term all holy wrong, especially when you already have the term almighty. So it, it doesn't really make sense to me. So when, when uh, the entire world begins to understand what I'm what I'm giving to the world as Jesus Christ is definitely working through me in order for this to be known and understood. I'm sorry. Is all I can really kind of say is scoops cuz it it doesn't make sense that uh I know that it's right and anybody would want to judge it. So when so when people are actually understanding me and listening to this and uh and then and then and then seeing me explain everything uh i really don't want no problems with people but it when it comes to it don't try to prove it wrong because this is my life and i've been understanding this since 2020 it's been 3 years actually i've been walking like this since 2016 and it's it's been a very long time 
it's been a very long time and it's going to take another about another seven years in order for this all to really be explained and get to the public. So uh, so when it comes to it, I I really don't know what people are going to do outside of the fact that this is then how we are meant to worship Jesus Christ as understanding Jesus Christ is more than just almighty. Right. So um, as as we then have to draw strength to become as we are nothing without Jesus. So we can't have courage unless we ha have it from the all courageous. Right. Or who is all courage. Right. So that has to be Jesus. All right. So um, so that's that's then all I got for this video. Y'all, uh, it is just an update. Um, I'm going to start this Bible sometime today. I got some other stuff to do before. um before I before I finish it, but I did read a page, um, in order to in order to time myself to see how long it would take. So um, so yeah, uh, that's that's all I got. Uh, that's all I got. It is ten fifty seven a.m. Saturday, September twenty third, two thousand twenty three. Love y'all, and uh, I'm definitely trying to do the most I can for everybody because I do have a new plan, and Jesus Christ is is definitely. Is definitely uh, pointing out uh, the errors in, in life as we know it as of now. So, um, so when when everything takes shape and comes together, it, it is what it is. So I uh, love y'all, and I see y'all in the next video. As yeah, it's ten fifty eight, <laughs> ten fifty eight a.m. Uh, Saturday, September twenty third. I'm signing off. Love y'all. See y'all in the next video. Bye.